SELFSI, Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. So in the next, in the next part of this uh, panel, uh, we'll present the results in each country, okay? Uh, it will be quite short, so it's about five, seven minutes per country. So we will just um, outline the main um, points which um, are highlighted. So in Italy, I'm focusing on Italy, of course, we uh, had 132 respondents, 94 of them are professionals and 38 are users. Uh, professionals are mostly females, aged 31 to 50, 21% uh, is uh, males. Interestingly, uh, professionals, most of them, 60, 63 of them do not rely on any guidelines for their daily work. Uh, if they do, they do rely on uh, Inclusion Europe guidelines and other guidelines that they call national guidelines. As regards users, uh, 53 percent of them are males and 45 are females. Okay. Again, age is uh, age range is the same as for professionals, 31 to 50 percent. Uh, what they do, they work, 20, 23 percent of them have a job, uh, 20 percent are students and 10 percent are uh, they do attend their, their care centers. Uh, moving on to uh, the different strategies which Elisa has already listed. Uh, the textual and conversation enhancing strategies, uh, what professionals find more, what professionals do more often is giving extra time. That's the uh, strategy they use the most, okay? Uh, and this is also what users find uh, more helpful, okay? So users said that for us, the most helpful resource is having extra time okay so as you can see these are the results from the questionnaire um what is perhaps interesting is this that the second strategy which professionals um identify is topic explicitation uh but that's not what users find more helpful okay so as regards user the second a uh, resource which they find more helpful is signpost language. So signpost language is of course, when uh, this course is organized according to a specific, uh, where it's like, first I do this, then I will do that, secondly, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so probably signpost language uh, is important for users because it helps them organize ideas very clearly. And also, of course, signpost language is uh, crucial, uh, is critical in helping understand different ideas and from that point of view, avoiding uh, confusion in, uh, in understanding. As regards linguistic strategies, uh, what professionals find useful is using active constructions and not passive constructions, okay? Um, they find it useful to have a relationship with the users, calling them by name, for example, and also uh, using positive constructions and not negative constructions, okay? So the same idea is um, construed by means of positive sentences and not negative ones, okay? Um, what professionals do not use is metaphors, uh, similes, uh, and they do not like using many repetitions, okay? Uh, I guess this is quite uh, understandable because metaphors and similes are, are a form of figurative language, of course, which requires more cognitive effort to be elaborated. Uh, as regards users, users uh, find it very helpful to have words explained they like examples, they like standard language hmm? versus non-standard language, okay? Even though, and I just wanted to uh, report this, uh, a user said, I find it very helpful when they use the Triestino dialect. 
<laughs> probably because Triestino dialect is his or her first language, of course. Um, so, of course, this is about not using other um, non standard languages. Okay. Um, users also do not like foreign words. Okay. They do not like, they do not find it helpful, um, technical or difficult words and words that are too uh, vague. As regards listener engaging strategies, which are of course non-linguistic strategies in this case, um, professionals uh, very often uh, find it useful to ask for feedback, to give feedback, uh, to indicate interest in what the users are saying and to use familiarizers. Uh, whereas, uh, and this is also, uh, something different that emerged in, in the user's answers. Uh, users, as regards listener engaging strategies, find it very helpful when humor is used. Okay, so having them laugh. Okay, humor, direct questions, and also anecdotes. Okay, so anecdotes is again, probably to do with humor in some ways, or with, you know, personal involvement from the uh, professional. Um, I would say that all these resources which uh, users find helpful are have a high interpersonal potential. Okay, so again, the importance of uh, interpersonal. Very, very quickly, other uh, strategies that professionals seem to use a lot are long poses, as uh, Elisa was saying, uh, art articulating words very clearly uh, using body language. Okay, they also find it very important to use body language. So, in terms of gestures, eye contact, as Elisa was saying, facial expressions, etc. Uh, professionals do not use loud, louder voice for highlighting specific important words. Uh, whereas, as regards users, again, poses, word articulation, and again, gestures. So, this in, in this case, both users and professionals agree on this type of resources. Um, yeah, just a couple of uh, open questions, and this is my very last slide. Uh, users said, one user said, Give, giving me a handshake, uh, making me feel important can be helpful for understanding. Uh, so again, the role of mm, interpersonal, being close to the person who's speaking, being close, silence, okay? So noise is disturbing, okay? Having other people talking in the same room can be very disturbing. And images, okay? Images are important. It is helpful if the speaker writes down the most important information using images at the same time. And I think that's all from Italy. Thank you very much. And Celsi, spoken easy language for social inclusion. Partners are Zavo Trisa, RTV Slovenia, Dyslexi Verbundet, Università degli Studi di Trieste, Vieglas Valodas Agentura, Vilnius Universitetas, Vsi Informatio Scaupimo Irsklaidos Centras. Funded by the European Union.